Now this next story is about honoring those who protected our safety and freedom with their lives. The city commemoration of Memorial Day. Well, welcome everyone. We truly appreciate you guys taking the opportunity to join us this morning. Um, I'd like to first call upon our Miss Hawaiian Gardens, our Sally Rodriguez, who will be presenting the flowers and the Pledge of Allegiance this morning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in prayer. Father God, we humbly come before your throne today thanking you for allowing us to be here to, to, to honor these men and women who have passed away. We're not here to celebrate, but to remember all of those thousands of men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice, their life, for this country. If it weren't for them, we would not have the freedom to be here today or gather anywhere. He was a young man when he first heard the call come and join in the battle come and give us your all and he rose up to follow leaving all else behind and he joined in this song when he reached the front line on behalf of our city and the entire city council I personally want to thank you for being here today to join us with communities throughout our great nation to observe and recognize those who made the ultimate sacrifice for us all. As a strong supporter of everyone who defends our nation's freedom, I'm especially honored to be here before you today commensurating our soldiers, army, marines, sailors, and those who perished while in service. Our American tradition rightfully includes an obligation to honor those who have sacrificed, making our nation earn its freedom. Those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, including the citizens from our fair city of Hawaiian Gardens. They have left a legacy of freedom and have taught their children and their children's children the value of sacrifice, hard work, and virtue, and the necessary conditions of freedom, and they have taught us the love of our country. It's been uh, 145 years since uh, Chief Commander John Logan from the Grand Army of the Republic uh, proclaimed May 30th as Memorial Day. Uh, Memorial Day, uh, he wanted to express uh, or honor all those who gave their lives uh, in, for the idea of freedom during the Civil War. Uh, today, we honor those heroes who, were, who gave their lives so we can have our freedom today. My name is Richard Crow. I'm with Hawaiian Gardens VFW Post 7243. And I'm going to explain the meaning of the items on this special table. The table is round to show our everlasting concern for our missing men. The tablecloth is white symbolizing the purity of their motives when answering the call to duty. The single red rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the life of each of the missing and their loved ones and friends of these Americans who keep the faith awaiting answers. The vase is tied with a red ribbon 
symbol of our continued determination to account for our missing. A slice of lemon on the bread plate is to remind us of the bitter fate of those captured and missing in a foreign land. A pinch of salt symbolized the tears endured by those missing and their families who seek answers. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith to sustain those lost from our country, founded in, as one nation under God. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share this evening's or morning's day's toast. The chairs are empty. They are missing, but they are not forgotten. Eulogies have been spoken for the millions who perish in our freedom, for our freedom. Many more words of praise will be given across our country today. Here in Hawaiian Gardens, we join our great nation and fellow communities to teach our youth and remind our residents that it's important we get together, take a moment, and not forget those who made the ultimate sacrifice. At this time, um, we have a special certificate of appreciation for Jim Smith, and it reads, in recognition of your continuous support and dedication to the VFW Post 7243 and the City of Hawaiian Gardens. Well, this is not my own belongs to me. It's for all of our members that support the post, support the city, and anything we try to do, we have support. VA hospital, things like that. So I thank all of them too. I'll accept this on behalf of them. Thank you. I recently went to our Congresswoman Linda Sanchez and asked her to create certificates for all of those World War II veterans that we have in our post. And we do have one today that I would like to uh, recognize. Paul, if you could come up. This is in recognition of his service during World War II. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. There, there is no doubt in my mind or any of the other veterans we have on our post that he represents the greatest generation in our nation. I encourage each and every one of you to visit our beautiful Veterans Memorial Plaza, our flag stand, and our memorial plaque inside our City Hall lobby after today's ceremony. These special memorials stand in memory of those vigilant Hawaiian Gardens residents who lost their lives in the service of our country. As we go through our daily lives and enjoy our summer with events and trips to the pool, let us forever be thankful to the brave men and women who gave their lives to keep our country safe and secure.